but I just wanted to vlog a little bit of my trip back to Florida. But what is so random, the most random thing about today. Oh, and by the way, look at all the leg room that they give you. Hey guys, it is a little while later. The washing machine is on, if you can hear that. Just so I figured that while I'm unpacking my toiletry bag, I'll just chat with you guys a little bit about my trip. Hi, this is Katie. It is 3.37 a.m. And I just woke up. I got one hour and four minutes of sleep. But I'm up this early because I have a five o'clock train to catch. And so I have been in Charleston for over a week and a half visiting my dad and my family. And I drove up with one of my friends. We rented a car and we drove up. And I decided to take the Amtrak train back to Florida. And my train is at 5 a.m. And so we have to leave the house pretty soon, but I just wanted to vlog a little bit of my trip back to Florida. But what is so random, the most random thing about today is that the last time I took an Amtrak train, I think the only time besides today that I've ever taken Amtrak was literally, I'm not even kidding, literally 10 years ago to the week of right now. Isn't that wild? I think it's so wild. Literally 10 years ago this week, was the only other time that I ever took an Amtrak train. That was up in New York, but still, I thought that was pretty cool. Anyway, uh, I slept for an hour because I was like so, I don't know if you guys get like this, if you have like an early flight or something really early to do, that's like abnormally early for you to do one morning. I get really like nervous about like sleeping and waking up and I think about everything I have to do that morning and like I think about getting on the train and like I just keep, you know, my brain, I think a lot. And so it just kept me up really late. And so I got an hour of sleep and I don't think that I'm gonna be able to sleep on the train. And so uh, I'm gonna have to stay awake, I think for a while, um, but I'll be home early afternoon back to Florida. And so I might be able to sleep later, but right now, at least I'm awake enough right now. And so I have to, I mean, I'm all done packing. I just have to like put my pajamas away basically. Um, but I'm just wearing a tank top under this and just this like cropped black sweatshirt and some black jeans and sneakers on the train. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll talk to you guys when I get to the train station. was one of those things I never saw coming The hound that if I did I'd start running The day she asked me to dance out in the rain I knew with her I'd do anything Yeah, I'd tell her she's beautiful she tells me I'm crazy It's so undeniable The way that she makes me Forget that a fall like this could break me This love we have Is beautiful It's beautiful crazy halfway there. It was dark for <laughs> the first few hours. Um, but yeah, just been hanging out, playing games on my phone, talking to the girl um, who was sitting next to me. And yeah, so far so good. <laughs> the first couple hours were so quiet because it literally left at 5 a.m. Um, but now most people are awake and hanging out and chatting. Um, yeah, so far so good. Just wanted to check in. Oh. And by the way, look at all the leg room that they give you. Like I'm short, but like I can stretch my legs totally out. There's so much leg room here. And there's outlets, which is very handy. Now I know she's a one I can't live without. She's the one that turned my life all inside and out Every day with her is a mystery But she's the only thing that I'll ever need Yeah, I 
tell her she's beautiful. She tells me I'm crazy. It's so undeniable the way that she makes me forget that a fall like this could break me. I'm still on the train. <laughs> still on the train. I made friends with my neighbor. What are, what are you? My seatmate. Seat my seatmate. Um, this is what my seat looks like. This is what outside looks like. We've just been chatting. It has made the time go by very fast. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, going to the bathroom on a train. That, that was not a fun experience. I'll tell her she's beautiful. She tells me I'm crazy It's so undeniable I the way that she makes me yeah. Forget that a fall like this can break me Hey guys, back in the car, headed home I'll show you some footage of the drive home too This love that we have, it is so damn beautiful Beautiful, crazy. Hey guys, it is a little while later. The washing machine is on, if you can hear that. It is two o'clock in the afternoon. I am a level of exhausted that I have not felt in a while. And I did lie down for a few minutes, but then I decided to get up, take just like a quick shower. I didn't even wash my hair. I just like threw it up. I'm gonna wash it tomorrow. But just took a quick shower and I just wanted to unpack a little bit and do laundry. Obviously, that's why the washer's on. Um, but just so I figured that while I'm unpacking my toiletry bag, I'll just chat with you guys a little bit about my trip and the train and all that kind of stuff. Um, how much closer do you need to be? Like a little closer, maybe? Is that any different? I don't know, but hi. Okay, so I was hoping initially, like when I first decided to take the train home from Charleston, which was like a couple weeks ago, like that's when I made these plans, I was thinking that having a video on an Amtrak would be a really cool video. And then like three days ago, I was like, wait a minute, Katie, there are gonna be lots of other people on this Amtrak and it leaves at five in the morning. And uh, so maybe, <laughs> You might not actually be able to talk a lot on the train and uh, you might not actually be able to film enough for a full video. So I just figured that I would chat with you guys about Charleston and my trip and the train ride home and stuff just while I unpack. I did repack this. Remember I said um, in my packing video that I was going to be at my little staycation in Florida and then I had to come back to the house to switch the cars. And so I did come back here and I did repack my stuff a little bit. And so I'm not gonna go through this because I just did, but I'm just gonna move stuff around while I talk to you on one hour and four minutes of sleep. And I haven't really eaten yet either. Anyway, I'm not complaining. I'm just letting you know, like, I'm a little out of it. But yeah, so Charleston was great. Well, hold on. First, first, first. The staycation in Florida. I know that I mentioned a little bit of what I did in my road trip video, but basically I stayed with one of my friends in like a really nice two bedroom hotel, which I've never stayed in before. It was really nice. And so we stayed there and we didn't do much that I recorded or that I even thought was like recording worthy, but we did get our nails done. We got our nails done. Well, we got like mani pedis and uh, I ended up like breaking one of my nails and then I cut them all. And so now I have to take the nail polish off. My nails are a mess now, but a couple weeks ago when I filmed that video, I know you only saw that video maybe, I don't know, a few days ago or a week ago, but I got my nails done like two weeks ago because I pre-filmed sometimes. Anyway, it was a really nice mani pedi, but then I messed up my nails. But like I messed them up like a week and a half later. So like my nails lasted a pretty long time. So we did that. And we filmed like the tiniest bit, but we basically just took a couple pictures. And then we got that alligator, the pool toy alligator that I'll put a little like picture of right here if you didn't see that earlier. That pool toy alligator is one of like my favorite things that I've ever gotten. And we ended up deflating it, taking it with us to Charleston. And then I like re-inflated it 
is that the word? At my dad's house. And so there was just like an inflated pool toy alligator at my dad's house while I was there for the last few days. And then I completely deflated it again and I put it in my suitcase to bring it home. So now I just have like the deflated alligator. I don't know if I'm gonna inflate it again now, but I'm definitely keeping it. Like I'm keeping that for as long as I possibly can. I love that thing. But yeah, so staycation was cool. And then we drove up to Charleston and I did that little video of kind of like what I was eating on the road. And then I got to Charleston and I was in Charleston for like a week and a half. And again, like I didn't want to record the whole time I was there. I really wanted to hang out, you know, like with my friend when we were in Florida and then with my dad and my family while I was in Charleston. My dad and I went on a hike, which was really, really nice. And then we went to a hockey game, which was really fun. And everything else we did was just, you know, kind of hanging out. I had some work to do. I hung out with my brother and, you know, we watched a lot of uh, Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy. We did that. And yeah, so it was like a really good time. And then this morning, my dad and my stepmom both drove me because we were leaving so early that like they wanted to keep each other company. We had to leave the house at like 3.50 a.m. And then my train was at like 4.56, I think. And then we did have like assigned seats, but it wasn't on my ticket. It was just like when I was walking on the train, they told me where to sit. And so I sat in seat number 33. And then a girl sat next to me and she slept for the first like hour that we were on the train. And then when she woke up, she and I started talking and we talked the rest of the train ride. It was just like really cool to like make a friend on the train, especially since it was so early. I only slept an hour and four minutes and I was already kind of nervous about going on the train because I haven't been in a while. And you guys know me, I get a little nervous about certain things and stuff. Like I was excited to go on the train when I first decided this a couple weeks ago, but then the last day or two, I kind of just started getting a little nervous. And so the fact that this girl sat next to me and that we like really got along and started talking about a lot of stuff, it really helped me a lot. Like, so the trip went by really quickly, which was awesome. And so yeah, that was really cool. It was awesome meeting her and then my best friend slash roommate picked me up from the train station and then I just got home I don't know like an hour hour and a half ago or so and then yeah So I just went and like laid down for a little bit and then I decided like no I want to get up I want to shower I want to eat like a proper meal and just unpack just a little bit and do some laundry and stuff So anyway, but my trip was good. My trip was really good. I do want to let you know you know how I've talked about this Fleur missing person several times in the last, I don't know, month or six weeks of my videos? I bought this, I don't know, at this point, early October, mid-October maybe? This is the missing person travel size spray of this perfume and I'm already out of it. I love this so much. I love this so, I love it so much. It smells so like cozy. That's like the way that I can describe it. It smells really cozy. Like I want to cuddle with this. Like it's really cozy. And I don't know if you can see behind me, but I may or may not have already gotten another one of these cause I love it so much. But anyway, uh, yeah, so my trip was good. I, I just wanted to unpack a little bit, get a little bit done. And then I probably need to eat because again, I woke up at 3.15 this morning and I did eat a protein bar and I had a LaCroix. And is that all I had on the train? I had a couple Smarties. Is that all I had on the train? And then when I got in the car, I bought a thing of Udi's French bread in Charleston and I ended up not eating it. So I just like packed it to bring back here. And it comes with two loaves of bread that are maybe like this big or so. And I ate about half of a loaf just in the car ride back to the house um, because I got like really hungry when I got into the car. And then like right when I got home is when all the exhaustion hit me. Cause on the train, I was like, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty okay. But honestly, like, when I was younger, I used to be able to not sleep a lot or pull an all-nighter and be kind of fine the next day, but at 37, I can't do that anymore. I cannot do that anymore. So I'm just gonna unpack a little bit and then eat something. Cause I don't wanna go to the grocery store until tomorrow, but I have chicken nuggets, I have hot dogs, I have that bread. I have hummus, I believe. I definitely have Lucky Charms. So like, I do have some food here. I might make some hot dogs. That actually sounds good. And I have waffle fries. It's not a healthy meal, okay? It's not a healthy meal but it's just the food that I already have. Anyway, I'm exhausted, so I'm rambling. But right now, this is empty. I'm gonna put this away under here. But I guess that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope that you enjoyed a little bit of train footage 
and then just, you know, hanging out with me for the last few minutes while I was unpacking and telling you about my trip. I really hope that you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you're subscribed for some travel videos and day trip footage and videos of me out and about, but then also just, you know, some lifestyle things and cooking videos and stuff like that. And yeah, I guess that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you have a wonderful day. I love you. Jesus loves you. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.